Oh boy, here we go. Everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my July reading challenge slash reading vlog. I'm doing French classics, which we oui, oui. uh due to popular demand, part of it will be in French. Bear with me, not a lot of it, because I mean I will have to put like the translation on the screen. It has been requested just because French is my first language for anyone that doesn't know. I really need to cut my bangs, they're too long. Um, but yes, let me share the two books I am planning on attempting to read just because. Uh, the first one is Candide by Voltaire, which is going to be a hundred and something pages. Like the edition that I have has a few different short stories. So let me double check exactly how many pages. I think it's a hundred and eight pages. So it's like quite short. So I think I'm going to attempt to start with this one just because my second one i'm very intimidated we have been waiting for years for me to actually finish it and it is part two of le comte de monte cristo by alexandre dumas i read part one three years ago oh two three oh this is bad um yeah because i was doing like big book challenge and uh the first part is just as big and this continues actually it starts from the beginning like number wise it starts at 703 pages and it goes to like 1400 so i'm still very scared of it to be honest though i really did enjoy the first part and for anyone that does understand french and wants to read it don't be intimidated the french is not really difficult like i feel like whenever i started reading in english i read one book by jane austen i can't remember which one and Whoa, the English was way more difficult than the French in this one, so definitely don't be scared. But yes, um, I'm a little rusty, I feel like, speaking French. I don't speak French with a lot of people anymore. So yes, I'm gonna start with this one and then we're gonna attempt to finish this one. Realistically speaking, can I finish? Really? Hopefully it wasn't doing that the whole time. That's why Emily and me don't get along. Um, but yes, realistically, would I have time to read the whole thing in a week? Depends. I have been in a slump, but uh, the other day I finished uh, The Way of Kings, which looking forward to the review in my wrap up at the end of the month. But uh, I've read like 180 pages in one day, like the ending. So I think maybe, maybe it is done. So yeah, maybe if I enjoy this, I can read the whole thing quickly. I probably shouldn't say that. Stop focusing on her. Moi. All about moi. Uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna start today, I'm gonna start with Voltaire, and um, once this is done, I can actually finish this one. I'm really excited though, it's just, I don't know, I, I need to stop being scared of books I enjoy. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. So, yeah, wish me luck. Oh, and by the way, uh, it's not a French book, but because I usually just talk about the books I'm currently reading, audiobook-wise, I am currently listening to The Book Thief, which I might include a little review in there too, just in case, because why not? Uh, and it's not French, we all know, but it doesn't matter. I'm finally reading this. It's been asked. <laughs> I've been asked so many times to read this. We're there now. I'm listening to it as an audiobook, so yeah. We'll update you throughout the week. There are so many of them everywhere in the backyard, and that one has been like walking super slowly. Do you see them jumping? That one has been moving super slowly, and it's kind of freaking me out, but it's kind of cool at the same time, so like... I can't move. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I find it funny. <laughs> Just moving slowly on the window. <laughs> okay, so I usually start my vlogs during the weekend, my weekly ones, but this week I'm doing it differently. We are day three, Wednesday. It's a little past four o'clock, so I'm done working. And I wanted to update you on my reading so far, which is, <laughs> you know, uh, chilling with Emily. So, um, we had, and by we, I mean me, decided to start by reading uh, Candide by Voltaire, which I remembered reading a while ago, and I thought it was fine, but people in my comment section when I announced I was reading that one were like, oh, I hated it, and I was like, I don't remember hating it. Um, I'm hating it, so I'm DNFing it, <laughs> because enough torture in 2020. I really tried, because I'm at page uh, 48, so... Uh, an honest attempt to read this, but again, why torture myself? So yeah, I was realizing I was just not in the mood. I was trying to read it and not going anywhere. So I stopped and um, 
yesterday I did the wrong thing with reading vlogs. So last night I decided to uh, go on a walk and listen to my audiobook, my current one, which is The Book Thief. So I wasn't doing that much progress and I realized that's because I didn't want to read that one. So I officially uh, am DF DNFing it, I'm, I will not finish it. And uh, I decided to start the one that I'm actually wanting to start and read. So I checked online a quick little summary of what was in part one, just to refresh my memory. I remembered a good amount, to be honest. I think it's mostly like names, but I feel like in the context, I would have been fine. So I started it late last night and I'm at page 716. But like I said, it starts with like, I think it's 704. So like I'm 12 pages into it or something. So... <laughs> Uh, so yes, tonight um, I'm going to continue this. I do obviously have a few little adult things to do, but I can still make some progress. And I'm hoping to read a decent amount because tomorrow I have to film. So, you know, life. Um, trying to balance everything has been weird. I feel like I, w I should have more time because I spend more time at home. But like, I feel like I'm spending a lot of time just staring at my screen. <laughs> I was going to pretend that I'm like doing nothing, but that's not true. I'm doing TikTok. So, <laughs> right? So, shame on me. And um, more reading. So, yes, I'm going to attempt to do that tonight. Um, this week, I do want to try and like clean up a little bit because I have still the pile of books that I got in my last haul video and never put them on my shelves and like, you know, life. Ooh, let, let's make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> I'm keeping the angle because it's a mess on the other side of the room. Look, I redid my shelves the other day and it's still messy because it's always messy, but this one was kind of empty. I only had these books, so I decided to put my red books and then my currently reading slash will hopefully read next books. So this is the, the amount of books that I read this month so far. Four books. Who am I? And look at the size of these things. Slump who? Uh, so yeah, you can look forward to these four books being reviewed in my wrap-up coming soon. So yay me. Um, like I said, I'm currently listening to The Book Thief as an audiobook. I think I'm like almost 70% into it. So we'll definitely finish before the end of month. I shouldn't say that out loud because slump. Hopefully it didn't hear me. Um, I am also reading, well not anymore because I paused it because I'm reading, you know, the French one. Oh, I'm supposed to do some French parts. Next one, promise. Um, <laughs> I'm reading The Girl in the Stars, and um, so far it's kind of bad, to be honest. I'm reading the physical copy of this one, and then I have the audiobook for this one, so when I'm done with this one, I'll start this one, which means, which means, yeah, uh, I will not finish it before the end of the month, because have you seen the size of that thing? So, yeah, that's my currently reading <laughs> pile. Um, yes, so let me go uh, read a little bit more, hopefully, and uh, I will keep updating you, letting you know how things are going, and yeah. By the way, I didn't really mention it, but can we celebrate the fact that I finished The Way of Kings? Only took me two months. Oh my. En français. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, on est vendredi. <laughs> J'ai lu deux chapitres. <laughs> Dans les deux derniers jours. Pour ma défense, j'ai travaillé pour mes vidéos. Uh, j'ai failli foutre le feu dans la maison. So, my place almost burned down. That's, that's, yeah, that's great. So, clearly, the AC was a little too strong for this old place. I'm totally freaking out. <laughs> Pas fort, mais uh, c'est ça que c'est. So, ce soir, on continue à lire Le Conte de Monte Cristo. Um, J'en ai même parlé au début en fait, uh, mais disons que c'est déjà pas mal mieux quand c'est <rire> la barre est pas haute. Mais uh, pour l'instant, j'apprécie beaucoup encore uh, l'écriture. Mon français est tellement rouillé. Um, j'ai juste hâte de voir ce qui va arriver parce que quand j'ai regardé le, le film plusieurs fois en grandissant, j'ai l'impression que la moitié des choses qui se passent dans le livre sont pas dans le film. Uh, probablement parce que <rire> les livres sont tellement épais. <rire> Anyway, uh, I attempted it. Thank you. Uh, I match with my bed, which was not on purpose. So yes, uh, tonight, reading, um, and I'll update you a little bit later. But I attempted it. You're welcome. <laughs> Hello, we're now Saturday. Um, I want to do a little bit of cleaning because in that corner, which 
<laughs> um, I still have the books I was mentioning and actually I have a few things I picked up in my fuel box too which you're gonna get a sneak peek I guess and um, we're gonna do some more reading because I actually did some decent progress last night I wanted to try and read outside which can you see it's so nice outside I want to be outside so we're gonna do that uh, it's not too warm so I will not be melting and I do have to work a little bit hence the full face of makeup and uh, yeah but I thought I would show you me struggling trying to clean up a little bit my shelves uh, just to make this a bit more interesting and then after reading I will update you on the reading because so far we're making some decent progress or so it seems. I mean during the weekend that's usually where when <laughs> see it's reading all that French it's getting to me <laughs> So these are the books I need to put on my shelves. Not too bad. You get a little sneak peek of what's coming. Uh, forget <laughs> my hair tools being there. It's because, like I said, uh, no more electricity in my bathroom. So I have to do it in my living room. It's been great. So let's find space on my shelves for these. Ran into you at the drugstore. You were picking up your prescription. It's funny cause I got addicted to you when we were in love And even though you broke it off a struggle With it like you were a bottle of pills I wish I could give in to my dependency Did you see that? Um, so my apparently fat ass decided to go read outside And my chair was like, nope <laughs> uh, Quarantine uh, sandwich, ice cream sandwiches Apparently has been, they've been doing their thing um, so you know what that means? I will read inside and I will actually start by getting another ice cream sandwich because Take that chair. Allons continuer notre lecture. So, um <laughs> That's a great angle after complaining of the ice cream sandwiches Here's the update. Uh, je suis rendue à la page 808 Donc j'ai lu <laughs> Comme so ah, je l'avais pas dit, je pense, la dernière fois. J'avais lu à peu près 20 pages, donc deux chapitres. Donc j'ai lu un autre 70 pages-ish. So, so. <rire> C'est ce que je veux dire quand je dis que mon français est rouillé. Ben honnêtement, ça m'a vraiment manqué de lire en français. Um, probablement que ça m'aiderait de pratiquer un, <rire> un peu plus dans la vraie vie. Mais je trouve que c'est tellement une belle langue, ça sonne tellement beau. It's just so pretty. Let me just say it in English. <rire> I'm too rusty, okay? I will, I promise, pinky promise, practice more in real life. That way I can do like a part two or something. Maybe when I actually finish this, I can do part of a review in French or something. Because it's so pretty, but like, damn it, woman, I need, I need to practice more. Anyway, uh, I'm like super fascinated by, first off, the language, uh, the characters. I have no, like, I know where it's going. Obviously, I've seen the movie, but um, I feel like there's so much more in the book that I've ever seen in the movies, like I was saying earlier, and I just need to know everything. Like, the whole plan is so complex to get his revenge, and I don't feel like I've talked about it, but I feel like everyone kind of knows what it is, but essentially this man, this really, really nice man, um, got effed over, uh, get sent to prison for something he didn't do. Why do people follow me? My descriptions are so bad. So it's known as one of the most epic revenge stories, and I had never read it, obviously, and it just seems kind of down, da daunting, da daunting, daunting. And uh, I'm here to tell you it's not. Like you actually read it, if you speak French, read the French version. It's not that complicated. Um, but yes, there's just so much more info. I can't wait to be done with it just so I can be like, aha, uh -huh. I can rewatch the movie and just see everything that's missing. But how brilliant is he to be able to like plan this whole thing? It's just so complex. Anyway, um, so far enjoying it. Clearly, but like I have so much left, like, I mean, <laughs> like 600 pages. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it this month. But uh, since the slump has been slowly going away, um, we're hopeful that before the end of next month, it will be done. I'm, I really need to like stop reading really thick books and then expect my slump to go away. But at the same time, I'm reading. Who cares what size? Uh, so yes, we're Saturday, like, towards the end of the day now. Um, so I'll probably update you. I'll try to read a bit more tomorrow, but I do have to work. Usually I, I try and film as much as possible during the weekend. So I probably won't make much more progress, but I'm pretty happy with 
how things are going. I feel like usually back in the day, before the slump, before the pandemic, I would read like 100 pages a day. And now it's like in a week I read 100 pages. Woo! <laughs> I feel like everyone has been so all over the place, but I hope everyone is doing pretty good. Like, you know, considering. And I cut my bangs earlier this week. I don't know if you've seen my last couple of videos. My bangs were getting longer and longer. I was actually planning on letting them grow out. But then I get comments of people telling me that, you know, it's ugly and I should let them like grow. Like, why do I keep having bangs? Blah, blah, blah. And every time I'm like, I'm just going to keep them <laughs> to be petty. <laughs> Which might not be the best way to live. But like, my plan was to actually um, curl them when they start growing out. Because there's that awkward length, right? You just look like, what's his name? From the office. Dwayne. Dwayne Shrewd. You know, like, I feel like that's what I look like right now. Especially freshly cut. So I don't want to look like that on a daily basis. So I was thinking maybe curling them. Because they're so cute when I see people do it. It's just that at the length of my hair right now, my curls are like waves and just crunchy so it's not really ideal i would have to like put my hair up whenever i do the curly bangs but maybe i can do wavy bangs lots of pleasure coming up but i mean i'm waiting until everyone stops complaining about the bangs <laughs> so it might never happen who knows anyway i will see you tomorrow for my last day of reading we can still do some progress i can probably read another two or three chapters Hey, so it's a bit later tonight. It's Saturday night. It's like almost 10 o'clock and probably has nothing to do with a reading vlog, but I still wanted to chat because I think a lot of you will most likely relate, but it just sucks to see everyone online, people that you know that are out doing stuff. It kills me because I want to. But I'm staying in. It's really tempting, but like, and like, I live alone. And there's only so much, you know, FaceTiming will do. <laughs> so we're Sunday and it's like four o'clock and I wanted to update you. I've been filming today and um, I have to edit tonight. I've read like one more chapter, I believe, since my last update last night, which you could tell I was not into it. <laughs> I've been feeling a little off today. Um, well, last 12 hours or whatever. <laughs> more than 12. Whatever. You know what I mean. Um, I've been feeling a little off, not gonna lie. I think it's kind of normal. We're all, you know, going through phases, I think. And uh, I think it's okay to talk about it, too. But yeah, I was having just a rough day. And one of my friends told me to try, you know, on TikTok, that long face filter and I tried it this is what I look like with it brutal I'm not gonna lie just brutal um so, <laughs> but um it made me feel super good I don't know like I know I look fine like but you know you have just those days and um you might not know but I'm wearing Invisalign now I'm not wearing any because because of COVID um there's a two weeks three weeks now where I'm just basically waiting for the next sets because some teeth didn't move and I was supposed to see someone also to like a speech therapist because obviously my bones for anyone who doesn't know I had double jaw surgery my bones were fixed obviously they were crooked now they're back to normal or they should have been but the muscles are not so I was supposed to see a speech therapist to make sure everything you know stays fine and that long term you know it doesn't revert to how it was and I was just having a rough day like I felt like I looked crooked whatever anyway recommend trying that filter if you're having an off day because at first I was like "Ooh, this is rough but then afterwards I'm like "Ooh, my eyes are looking so big so yeah <laughs> all of this to say I feel better now um, so yeah I have a lot of editing to do so I might realistically I won't have time to um, read more but so far the book is going well uh, it's a bit slow but I mean it makes sense it's a humongous book uh, on the bright side I did finish the book teeth which I know it's not in French so is it really relevant we're allowing it um and yes it was okay i feel bad saying that but like i've heard about this book for the longest time and i kind of had pretty high expectations and it's a world war ii historical fiction which is just like well historical fiction period isn't really my jam and i feel like i've read a lot i feel like 90 
5% of the historical fiction that I've read were about World War II. And obviously it's sad, but like, I don't know if it's because of the funk, but... So please let me in the comment section if you feel the same, because I feel kind of bad saying that out loud, but I will have to in my wrap-up, probably, you know, next video I will do or something, because I've been pre-filming a little bit. So yeah, uh, this is going to be probably the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do need to do more, them more often. I just feel like my life is so boring right now that, like, do you really want to see it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me know what you would like to see. Uh next challenge for next month because I might need some inspiration and yeah. On se revoit dans une nouvelle vidéo la prochaine fois. <laughs> Look at me with all that French. Thumbs up. I tried. Subscribe. More videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I shall see you with Emily in the next video. <laughs> Bye.